You're alive. Okay. Hey guys, if anybody's watching, tell us if you can hear us. Hey guys, if anybody's watching, tell us if you can hear us. Is there an echo in here? Let's see here. Okay, let's get to get to that there. Let me see if you can see it on yours. Hi, Antonio. Thanks for tuning in. Hello. So I think we're good there, huh? Where's that at? Hello, everyone. Just wait for a few, a few minutes here for our friends and family to join us. It's kind of a spur of the moment, live if you will. <clears throat> Antonio, can you tell us if you can hear us okay? Hey, Steve Turtle, how's it going? Yes, Steve, let us know if you can hear us. Um, we're kind of in a little covered picnic area. Hello from Maryland. Hello, okay, Bruce. Okay, you got us loud and clear. Loud and we clear. We are confirmed from Bruce Murray. Thank you. Thank you, Antonio. All right. All right, guys, so just a kind of quick update. We've been gone for a while. Yeah, I think it's been uh, about three weeks since our last video came out. Yeah, so... Um, to be honest, I we had talked about taking a little break from YouTube anyway because we just kind of wanted a break. We were going to hang out in Southern California and just chill out for a little bit. And then I think within five days of that, I broke my arm. Yeah, tell them how you broke your arm. <laughs> I tripped and fell. I mean, come on. On flat concrete. You know, I wasn't even doing anything cool. Like, I wasn't hiking or anything like that. Let's see here. Right, at least, I mean, she would. She could have had a cool story to tell, but it's not a cool story It's not. All. We were at a gas station, and I literally tripped over nothing and fell on really, really hard concrete, and I felt my elbow, something just felt wrong. Right. So I, um, I assumed I, I broke it, and, and I did. So what it is is the radial head, so that is the top piece of your radius. So that's the bone that um, goes in between your elbow and your thumb. So the top part of that bone is broken, but it has been situated back um, in, in its place. So um, as of right now, I don't need surgery. Everything's going well. Um, we were going to leave the very next day to head home. We both really wanted to leave the very next day to head home, but we woke up. The weather was awful, and it was supposed to get worse all throughout the southern United States. Plus, it was Thanksgiving week, and that, that next week, because this happened on a Friday, yeah. And so with heavy traffic and terrible weather, we decided we were going to wait. So we had two doctor's appointments, both in um, the Joshua Tree area, mm -hmm. and both went fantastic. And Yeah, it's a, it, and apparently it's a common uh, injury uh, with the elbow here. And luckily for Christina, uh, it's not a serious injury. Uh, but it's going to take about 8 to 10 weeks for it to feel, fully heal. Yeah. Uh, so she's going to have to do a lot of physical therapy to make sure she can get the motion back. To her arm, so we've been doing that three days a week. Three, three times a day. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Three times <laughs> a day. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've been, I've been doing everything for my lovely wife here because for obvious reasons. So I, yeah. I lost track of everything. It's, so. it's really hard to do things with, with one arm. So, um, elbow injuries are weird because you have to, you have to maintain the motion in your elbow. So I have to keep movement, but I have to keep it resting when I'm not doing physical therapy. So. My motion is probably never going to be full again in the elbow, but um, hopefully with a lot of physical therapy and hard work, it can be close to its original motion. But it, it'll never be the same, uh, which is fine. Um, and elbows take a long, longer time to heal than most other bones, I guess, where it's placed and 
um, you have to start moving it right away or you lose the motion. So it takes yeah. longer to heal. And since uh, Christina's a very tenacious individual, I'm sure she'll bounce back from this in no time. Yeah. Uh, but that's part of the reason why we have kind of taken a break from making videos because Christina is the artiste behind our videos. She does all the editing. Mm -hmm. She never taught me how to do it. So that's why we, <laughs> we don't have uh, any other videos coming out right now. So we want to touch base with you guys, let you know that we are still in existence and uh, we are going to still make videos, uh, but we're going to take some time. We're heading back to Florida right now. We're going to rest. We're going to recoup. We've been on the road this time since February. Yeah. And though we've stayed in a couple of places for, you know, weeks here and there, it's not the same as being at home. So we're going to go home. We uh, left California yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, we made it to New Mexico today. So we're, we're covering some good ground, but you know, our, um, where we stay in Ocala is 2,300 miles from where we were at in Desert Hot Springs, California. Right. So, so we've knocked out almost 700 miles off, uh, so far within mm -hmm. two days. Uh, we're actually probably about an hour away from Texas, but we're kind of sticking to a plan right now, trying to drive about five or six hours a day, um, anywhere from 320, 360 miles. So we figure we have to get us back to Ocala probably within about four or five days if we stick to that. So. No, 10 days. No, no, I did the math today. If we did about 320 miles average, yeah, yeah, we'd be back in Ocala in five days. I think I think that's like 1,600 miles. We have 2,300 miles. We've already done almost 700. It started with 2,300 miles from Scott Valley. We're in La Cruz, New Mexico right I'm now. I'm not very good at math. So we've got 1,600 miles to go. <laughs> and if you do, do oh, the math. Oh, four or five days from now. Right. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant from yesterday. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we got to stay at our first Cracker Barrel last night. That was fun. Yeah. It was all decorated, Christmassy, and we got to sit by the fireplace and have dinner. It was very romantic. Yeah, and the dinner is uh, really, really good. Uh, yeah, we I, had fried chicken. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like the only second time we've actually had dinner at Cracker Barrel. We're always doing breakfast because everybody knows Cracker Barrel's breakfast is the bomb mm. diggity. And we are at a rest area right now. Can you believe that we are at a rest area? It is uh, far enough off the interstate to where there's not a whole lot of noise. And there's nice little covered picnic areas. It's really pretty here. Yeah, and uh, flushing toilets, too. Yeah. And so they're clean. We're living large. For <laughs> big free. time, big time. Yeah, so we don't know where we're going to stop along I-10. So if you guys can think of any, like, can't miss places, um, remember, I can't do a whole lot with, with my arm. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we want to make sure not to, to do anything too strenuous and things that don't take a lot of time we'd really rather not unhitch but if if there's any great places to stay along the way yeah you know, you know some free places some uh, pretty inexpensive places mm -hmm. keep in mind like christina says we're going to be on i-10 all the way back to florida so uh, yeah give us a shout out if there's any inexpensive cool places that we can stay overnight yeah uh, on our trek back home so making motorhome memories sorry to hear this however we are excited to possibly meet you guys it, it looks like she's reading questions right now guys Making motorhome memories, and then there's Sherry. Hi, Becky Beth. <laughs> yes, we are coming on home to Florida. So we had actually discussed going back home to Florida before this happened anyway. So I think that things just kind of sent us in this direction. Um, we were just really missing family and, and really missing home. There's nothing like home for the holidays. So we, we did have a little piece of home with us on Thanksgiving, though. We were joined by Bree and TJ from Embracing Detours, so that was nice. We had a piece of Florida with us. And yeah, not to mention we had a nice uh, Thanksgiving dinner as well at a, a fabulous casino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I won 20 bucks, and I think TJ won 20 bucks. I think Bree won 10 bucks. I think you were the only one that... Hey, it was their money. It was. So. You know, you sign up for the Players Club, you play with their money, you get discounts on food. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mm -hmm. well, or turkey dinner <laughs> in this case. Touche. But we had a good time, and it was really nice to, to be joined by, by our friends who yeah. we love. So. So, really, that's that's about it. That's about um, it, guys. We have a, we still have a ton of footage that eventually, one of these days, we will put together from Washington, Oregon, all through California. And I don't know if, um, you know, we'll do that in the future or if I'll start doing that, you know, while I'm recovering or... It might be a year from now, and we might just, you know, pick up and do something different, do a few live videos. Yeah, I think we'll probably uh, probably do some live videos, just to kind of stay in the loop with our friends and family. Mm -hmm. 
out there in the YouTube world and back home. So, mm -hmm. um, but, but we're we haven't really filmed a lot. It, we loved Joshua Tree, but we we didn't really film anything just because it doesn't. It doesn't get old making memories, and it's really not hard to, to film, but it is really nice to just kind of absorb what you're seeing and not have to worry about capturing it. Right. Yeah, so. So. I think that's it. Let's see if we have any, any other comments. Who is making voter roll memories? I can't figure out who it is. Is that our being our life, maybe? Uh, I don't know, but like Prepper 101 said, uh, make sure you guys hit the like button. Great reminder. <laughs> hey, Life Under Interrupted, we are just missing you guys. We are headed back to Florida, and you guys just left Florida. I think the last we seen you guys may be in Texas. We saw that you guys so. stopped in um, New Orleans. So if you guys have any tips on where to stay close to New Orleans, let us know. Please do. Yeah, Please do. So we're taking care of for Alabama. Yep. Stay, staying at uh, my brother-in-law's mom's house in Alabama, right off of I-10. Yep. So... I think everybody's wishing you uh, get well. Thank you. Get well quickly. And, and for all of you who just tuned in, I broke my, I, I fractured my elbow. My radial head broke. And um, we are headed back home to Florida. And if you have any can't miss stops to stay the night at on I-10, um, let us know. Let's see. St. Bernard State Park is awesome. Oh, there's Brian TJ. <laughs> hey, did you guys? We're, uh, well, we'll talk later. <laughs> yes, I bet the weather is absolutely horrid there today. Our weather right now is sixty, sunny. Yeah, yeah. I think the low is like forty-one tonight. So yeah, and then very blessed so far. Yeah, we we missed all the really bad weather. There's birds, birds. or something, but all along I ten so far, it has been flooded on the side of the roads. So there must have been. Horrible. Yeah, well, I mean, when you see flooding in the in the desert, I mean, maybe that's normal this time of year. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We're just glad that we missed it. Yeah. So. So, I think that's it. I think we're gonna sign off. Um, and uh, don't forget to comment when we're off uh, of the live stream and um, tell us where to go on I ten and um, give us a like. Yes. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we will see you guys soon. On the flippity flop. All right, guys. McClellan Express later. out. Peace. Such a weirdo. <laughs>